Welcome everybody. Yes, I am back from Colorado. I am going to have some footage on my other channel with my travels. Unfortunately, I couldn't use the Ninja Foodi uh, smart lid. I didn't have enough power. I only have a lead acid battery on my trailer, so I'm looking into getting some lithium in those videos because my adventures will never end. I will have those coming out in the future. However, I did put a short out today and if you guys are interested in me doing some more cooking in the uni pizza oven, I use that a lot on the trip. It's fantastic. But forget about all that stuff. Let's just jump in today. Today we're just going to be making some banana bread. I shouldn't say just. No, banana bread's good. Banana bread is very good. We're going to follow the recipe exactly from the book, hopefully. So yeah, well, I'm going to start over here. I have the Ninja Foodi one lid. And I'm going to go ahead and pour. This is three cups of water ceramic bowl is in and the three cups of water is just going to go right in here done so now let's go over here and we're going to start making the banana bread the reason why you're looking at the floor is because i forgot to toast some walnuts so i'm going to toast these walnuts real quick i'm going to put it in a traditional oven i know this thing right here 350 just probably for five to seven minutes i'm just going to toss them in now i'm just going to let them go so, yeah, I totally forgot all about the nuts. Oh, and another thing, I, as you saw on my last video, I have a new taste tester. It's a fellow travel nurse, and she happens to be my charge nurse in the OR. So, this better come out good, or, yeah, I'll probably get a bad assignment. So, I know it looks a bit messy here. I'm using the Ninja Foodi pan. This is one of their accessory pans. It's a loaf pan. I'm going to take some baking spray and I'm just going to spray the pan. They did say to take a bit of flour, so I'm going to take a little bit of all-purpose flour, pop it in there. That's a bit too much, but it'll work. Just go around like this, hit all the sides and the bottom. And then what I do, go over to the trash can and um, tap off the excess. The pan is done. I'm just going to go over it and put it on the other counter over here. Just set it off to the side. Yeah, that's a bit long, too long to say that. All right, next up is the only mixing bowl I have. I really have to go purchase some mixing bowls. This is, um, I think the recipe calls for two bananas. That's like two and a half bananas, two large, two and a half large bananas. It does, the recipe says three quarters cup of overripe banana. Well, I've got like two and a half, but there's a lot of liquid in there. So I'm gonna pour off some of this liquid. There we go. So that's that. Then they want you to add, I'm just going this as I don't have a lot of, um, I don't have a lot of pots and pans with me, but you know something, you don't need a ton of pots and pans to cook. Just use what you have. This is gonna be a quarter cup of oil. I'm just using vegetable oil. The recipe calls for canola. Um, vegetable oil will work just fine in this recipe. Also, I have a quarter cup of, I just have, I think this is whole milk. We're gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of whole milk. Ah, on the floor peeps, on the floor. Always on the floor. I just did stairs, so that's why I'm grunting and groaning. Whew. All right, one large egg. I did crack that ahead of time. One large egg, throw that in the sink. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I know, you're probably laughing. It's like, you're on a travel nurse assignment. Why did you bring vanilla extract? Because it's really good. I think I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put one teaspoon of vanilla extract in that. So that's a little bit of a change, deviation from the recipe. Then we're also going to go ahead and add, let's see, it says a half a cup plus two tablespoons of sugar. This is granulated sugar. I had to go buy this because I didn't have any. So there's one, and it said two tablespoons. One, um, excuse me, that's one half cup of sugar. Seems like a lot of sugar. Oh well, one, two tablespoons. That does seem like a lot, but oh no! I almost lost my spot here. All right, now it says to take this and we're gonna whisk this. It says whisk it together until smooth. So 
I don't have a mixer with me. My uh, charge nurse, Chris, next door does have a mixer, but we're just going to do this by hand, so we're just going to whisk it. And I kind of like, if you leave some of the um, bananas chunky, it's kind of nice to have that in there. All right. We are all set with this. I'm going to set this off to the side just for a quick second, because now we're going to get together our dry ingredients. So in this bowl right here, we have, I already measured that out, one and one quarter cup of all-purpose flour. That's what's in this bowl right now. We're going to go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I picked this up at Sprouts, this Vietnamese. Oh, it smells so good. I should make some French toast in there with using that. And how much did it say? Oh, half a teaspoon. We're going to keep it, like with the spices, we're going to keep it the same. I'm not going to go over the top like with the spices. There's a half a teaspoon. And put that off to the side. We have up next is a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Oops. All right, so it says a half teaspoon of kosher salt. So I'm going to go ahead and use a heaping because kosher salt is bigger. Oh, it did say half. Whoops. So we added a little bit too much salt in there. Whoopsies. And one teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure your baking powder is fresh. Oh, where's the cover? This place is a mess. Um, I just used my whisk, so I'm going to use my, you guys will laugh to see what's in here. I'm just going to use a fork. I'm just going to mix this dry ingredients all together. I'm going to go over and check my nuts, because I have to let them cool and I have to chop them. So I'm going to go over and check those nuts right now. So I cleaned up just a little bit, and this is, it's, I think it called for like a quarter cup of nuts. I just grabbed like a, not a whole handful, but a handful of them. We're just going to give these just a quick chop. And yes, I've got my knife. It's out of the trailer. Yay! Although I'm going camping this weekend down in Flagstaff. I'm just going to pack basic essentials. And there's the air conditioning. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go ahead and add it. You don't have to add it to the flour, but I'm going to add it to the flour. and give it a stir. There we go. Another thing to clean. All right, so now we have our lovely green bowl. Oh, yeah, I have to get some bowls. I'm gonna go ahead and add this right to there. Now you're just gonna stir this in. Stir the dry into the wet. What I noticed like with breads, biscuits, and stuff like that, just try not to overmix. I do it, I still do it, I'm not gonna lie. Just you don't want to over mix like that's probably good right there so you're gonna bring your pan over and we're gonna go ahead and put this mixture into that pan this girl is on fire oh I sang that when I burnt my s'mores Lovely. Oh, this smells really good. I just give mine a jiggle and a shake just to make sure it's leveled out and even. So now we're going to bring this over to the Ninja Foodie. I lied. What we're going to do is take the enclosed, I don't know what you want to call this, the thing that came with it, and we're going to put it on there just like this. Then we're going to carry it over to the Ninja Foodie. So let's go. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and lower the lid. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Next up, we're going to turn it to steam crisp. We're going to, temperature's going to be 300. 300. The time says 30 minutes. I've never made this before, so this is going to be curious to see how this comes out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to hit start. Woo! Now we're just going to wait. Yeah, we have to wait. So yeah, 
We're going to see how this comes out. I think it's going to be pretty good. So, yeah. Patience, grasshopper. Okay, so we have 15, 14, 13 seconds left. And I can honestly tell you, even with my COVID nose, I can smell this banana bread and it smells great. Oh, it's done. I'm so excited, so excited. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna open it up, open the lid, turn the knob. Just be careful, there might be steam, so just. Oh. Yeah, that is a beauty. Oh. Now I have to be patient. Once again, it's patience, grasshopper. You have to wait. You know, I don't have any pot holders. So we're going to have to use towels because that's the only thing I, wait, I think I have, I think I brought some OR towels with me. Let's check the closet. Yes. Uh, this girl is on fire. All right, so what we're going to do now, we have to be patient. My chief taste tester is working today. I'm off. Going to lift it out. Be careful. And we're just going to set it on the counter to let it cool. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yes. So now we have to be patient. I'm going to wait. I'm going to set that over there, actually. I'm going to start another recipe. We're doing a bunch of recipes today, so I can have a bunch to put out if I can upload them. Yeah. The whole Internet thing is, it's been a nightmare here. However, the job is good. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, I will see you later to taste test this with Chris. Thanks a lot. Bye. Well, no. See you later. Yes, it has cooled enough. Now, I was going to have Chris taste test it, but she's on call tonight, so she's stuck. So what I'm going to do, cut a piece off here. I don't have a serrated knife, so I tried to sharpen this one up as best I could. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, let's, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is gonna be tasty. I'm gonna have to go back out and run more, not run. I obviously didn't run the stairs. However, I did walk stairs. So yeah, gorgeousness, it's beautiful. I haven't tried this yet, but and I do have a bit of a COVID nose going on, so I have to really get in there to smell things. Um, it smells really good. So let's give this a whirly here. Oh, yeah. Delicious. It's super good. Chris, I know you're stuck at work, but hey, I'll drop some. When you get home, I'll drop next door to your apartment. So yeah, look at that. So thanks everybody for watching. Definitely make this recipe. It's super good. It really is actually very, very good. And um, it'll probably be even better tomorrow. Wrap it in saran wrap and the flavors have time to, whatever it does, meld together or whatever. So good. Yeah, I'm going to get this out of my house because I was doing stairs today, and yeah. The reason why I'm doing stairs, I might as well just tell you, when I was hiking up in Colorado, and yeah, I am a bit robust, um, I was just disappointed because I was huffing and puffing. I mean, it was 11,000 feet, even 9,000 feet, I was like, <gasps> trying to do these hikes. So I'm trying to get into a little bit better shape. Well, I really want to get into good shape, but even if I just increase my fitness just a bit, so I need to not eat this and bring it next door. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.